Hello. Uh, this story I'm going to read is from The Folk Tales of Scotland, retold by Nora and William Montgomery. And this one is The Well at the World's End, which is from Ayrshire, I believe. Once upon a time, there was a king and a queen. The king had a daughter and the queen had a daughter. The king's daughter was good natured and everybody liked her. The queen's daughter was bad tempered and nobody liked her. Now the queen was jealous of the king's daughter and wished her away. So she sent her. <laughs> My cat. So she sent her to the well at the world's end to fetch a bottle of water, thinking she would never return. The king's daughter took a bottle and away she went. Far and far she went till she came to a pony tethered to a tree. And the pony said to her, Free me, free me, my bonny maiden, for I've not been free seven years and a day. Yes, I'll free you, said the king's daughter, and she did. Jump on my back, said the pony, and I'll carry you over the moor of sharp thorns. So she jumped on his back, and the pony carried her over the moor of sharp thorns. Then they parted. The king's daughter went on far and far, and farther than I can tell, till she came to the well at the world's end. She found the well was very deep, and she couldn't dip her bottle. As she was looking down into the dark well, wondering what to do, she saw three scaly men's heads. They looked up at her and said, Wash me, wash me, my bonny maiden, and dry me with your clean linen apron. Yes, I'll wash you, said the king's daughter. She washed the three scaly heads and dried them with her clean linen apron. They took her bottle, dipped it and filled it with well water. Then the three scaly men's heads said one to the other, Wish, brother, wish, what will you wish? I wish as she was bonny before, she'll be ten times bonnier now, said the first. I wish that every time she speaks, there will drop a ruby, a diamond and a pearl from her mouth, said the second. I wish that every time she combs her hair, she'll comb a peck of gold and a peck of silver from it, said the third. The king's daughter went home, and if she was bonny before, she was ten times bonnier now. Each time she spoke, a ruby, a diamond and a pearl dropped from her mouth. Each time she combed her hair, she combed a peck of gold and a peck of silver out of it. The queen was so angry, she didn't know what to do. She thought she would send her own daughter to the well at the world's end to see if she would have the same luck. She gave her a bottle and sent her to fill it with the water from the well. The Queen's daughter went and went till she came to the tethered pony, and the pony said, Free me, free me, my bonny maiden, for I've not been free seven years and a day. Oh, you stupid creature, do you think I'll free you? she said. I am the Queen's daughter. Then I'll not carry you over the moor of sharp thorns, said the pony. So the queen's daughter had to go on her bare feet and the thorns cut them. She could scarcely walk at all. She went far and far and farther than I can tell till she came to the well at the world's end. But the well was so deep that she couldn't reach the water to fill the bottle. As she sat there wondering what to do, three scaly men's heads looked up at her and said, wash me, wash me, my bonny maiden and dry me with your clean linen apron. Oh, you horrid creatures, do you think I'm going to wash you? She said, I am the queen's daughter. She did not wash their heads, and so they did not dip her bottle and fill it for her. They said one to the other, wish, brother, wish, what will you wish? I wish that if she was ugly before, she'll be ten times uglier now, said the first. I wish that every time she speaks, there will drop a frog and a toad from her mouth, said the second. I wish that every time she combs her hair, she'll comb a peck of lice and a peck of fleas out of it, said the third. So the queen's daughter went home with an empty bottle. The queen was mad with rage. 
What if her daughter had been ugly before she was ten times uglier now and each time she spoke, a frog and a toad dropped from her mouth? Each time she combed her hair, she combed a peck of lice and fleas out of it. So they had to send her away from the court. A young prince came and married the king's daughter, but the queen's daughter had to put up with ill-natured an ill-natured cobbler who beat her every day. The end.